Hello everyone, I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Welcome to The Empower Neurologist. You know, as we puzzle over the ever-increasing rates of overweight and obesity in our society, we really need to begin to focus on the effects of changes in the microbiome and the microbiota, the organisms that live within us, in terms of really paving the way for progressive weight gain and, more importantly, the inability of, uh, for so many people to lose weight. We now fully understand that it's the diversity of the organisms that plays such an important role in maintaining normal body weight. Some recent research uh, published in the journal Nature uh, in January of 2016 by the Sonnenbergs at UCLA, I think lends some very, very important uh, understanding to why it is that uh, so many people are struggling with weight. Uh, what the researchers did is they took a group of uh, laboratory animals, rodents, and these are laboratory animals that did not have organisms in their gut. They inoculated these uh, rodents with human uh, microbiota and then deprived them of prebiotic fiber, what they called MAC, uh, microbiota-associated uh, carbohydrate. And what they found was when they depleted or restricted the availability of prebiotic fiber, the good fiber for those uh, bacteria to use, that the level of diversity of the gut bacteria went down dramatically. When they then introduced levels of good prebiotic fiber, they found that the level of diversity returned, that there was an increase in diversity, not quite back to the level where it used to be. What was even more compelling was the fact that they then repeated this experiment in second and third and fourth generations, and they found that the diversity of the bacteria progressively worsened and to the extent that some of the organisms actually became extinct. And here's a quote uh, from the article, changes in the microbiota uh, in the mice consuming a low, I'm paraphrasing, prebiotic diet and harboring a human microbiota are largely reversible within a single generation. However, over several generations, a low prebiotic fiber, I'm paraphrasing again, diet leads to a progressive loss of diversity, which is not recoverable after the reintroduction of dietary uh, prebiotic fiber. So again, this explains uh, to me uh, and to many researchers why it is that there, there is loss of diversity. It's because we're not consuming enough prebiotic fiber. And incredibly, at least in this animal model, how this situation gets worse generation after generation, meaning that even though good levels of prebiotic fiber are introduced, that the diversity of the gut microbiota is not recoverable, and that uh, to a significant degree. That's really important information, so please uh, take a look at the study. I think you'll find it very interesting. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Thanks for joining me.